Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast and the problem reads uh, the connected bar <coughs> BC is used to increase the lever arm over uh, the uh, crescent range uh, as shown and if the applied force is uh, 200 newtons and D equal to 300 uh, millimeters determine the moment produced by this force about the board at A then we have the following problem which is based on the same figure and the other one we have three of them and are not read them out to save on time but we are going to solve all of them uh, this problem is coming from uh, the engineering mechanics uh, statics uh, textbook uh, 13th edition by rc hibela so we have a range and then there is an extension there of uh, an arm and um, we have been asked to find either in 4-27 we have been asked to determine the uh, the moment about point A in 4-28 we, we have been asked to find D while the other factors are given then in 4-29 we have been asked to determine F while the rest of the factors are given right so let's add more details to this particular uh, range so that we begin to solve all the problems to start with we know that moment 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 using the scalar analysis is equal to f times d where f is the force and d is the lever arm and the two are supposed to be perpendicular to each other the force perpendicular to the lever arm or the lever arm perpendicular to the force right so in the first case 4 dash uh, in the first case let me write down here case 27 I mean 4 dash 27 okay we have been asked to find the moment about point A okay or the summation of moments about point A or the resultant moment about point A. Okay. So now let's add some details. I want to draw a line from uh, the center of uh, this nut. That will go like so. It has to be in line with the range like so. Let me give it maybe another color. Let me give it red all right like so <clears throat> okay so we are saying the forces must be perpendicular to that line all right that's the one that is transmitting the force to that particular nut that is being uh, either tightened or untightened all right okay so now from this point where the force is being applied we'll draw a perpendicular line okay something like this this is perpendicular enough right great so this is good enough so we are saying we are saying this here is a 45 i mean a 90 sorry a 90 all right so now <clears throat> let's find what this is okay we find what this that is but we know that uh, we know that this this is going to be equal to 30 and if that is the case then we expect this also to be equal to 30 is that fine mm -hmm. right so we know that let's then uh, do that Let's add those details. Let me draw another line from this point here to there. Let me use a straight line. From this point, okay, something like that. Then we know that this here, this angle here, okay, this is going to be equal to. 30 degrees. Is that so? Mm -hmm. 
this is 30 okay so if that is 30 if that is 30 this is 30 okay so with that in in mind <coughs> then we need another angle i mean we need another angle for this component of this force so we know now that our resultant force will have a component in this direction like this let me just we'll have all those red we'll have a resultant in this direction okay this direction and another one in that direction like so okay that fine and we know that we have this dimension here this other because we need another perpendicular which is this one which is this one this is another perpendicular distance for this other force so let's now label these particular distances let me label this also uh, from there, let's say from here to there, we label this. Okay. All right. Let's label this force, I mean these distances. So this is going to be equal to D. <coughs> D cos 30. Then this one will be <coughs> D sine um this sine 30 right and then this particular force here to be f f what 15 plus 30 so this is f cos 15 plus 30 which is 45 is that fine and then this one will be f sine 15 plus 30 which is 45 okay we know where the 45 is coming from it's coming from there right that is 45 is that fine correct okay that is 45 so this one here is 45 great <coughs> So now with all this information we can go ahead and do the calculations all right let's start solving but let's first write the general expression because it's going to apply to all the cases we are just going to be shifting either finding d finding f or finding moment so summation of moments about point a and clockwise being our reference is going to be equal to uh of course this one here uh converting it to meters is 0.3 meters so moment is clockwise therefore it's negative so it's minus uh, 0.3 plus d uh, cos 30 okay and then times the force which is just f cos 45 and minus um d cos d sine 30 uh, by times f sine 45 okay so let's go to the first case which is just case 4 dash 27 so what do we have we have been given f equal to 200 newtons d equal to 300 millimeters which we can convert to meters which is 0 0.3 meters and then uh, we are being asked to find summation of moments about point A. 
So summation of moments about point A and clockwise being our reference, the same equation up. Uh, so it's minus clockwise moment point three plus D is point three cos thirty and then F is two hundred uh cos uh, forty five. 200 cos 45 minus uh, D which is point 0.3 sin 13 and then by F which is 200 sin 45 therefore the summation of moments about point A is just going to be equal to where is the calculator? Point three plus point three cos thirteen by two hundred um cos forty five and point three by sine thirty uh, by two hundred sine forty five we have minus 100.38 Newton meters. We can write this as summation of moments about point A is just 100.38.38.38 Newton meters clockwise. Okay, and then let's go to case number two, which is case four dash two eight. What are we? What have we been given? We have been given M A clockwise, which is equal to minus one twenty is clockwise. Therefore, it's minus. Okay, minus one twenty. Newton meters. What else? We've also been given F, which is equal to 200 newtons, and we have been asked to find D. So it's the same equation, just plugging in. This is the summation of moments. You can think of this about point A. So if we are to plug in numbers, we'll have 1 minus 120 equals to. Uh, minus um, 0.3 the length of the range plus these are known that's what we are looking for d cos 30 uh, f is already given is 200 uh, cos 45 minus another d sin 30 by f 200 sine 45 therefore d is just going to be equal to uh, grab your calculator make d subject your formula uh, what do we have so cancel out the minuses that's 120 minus 0 0.3 0 0.3 times 200 cos 45 mm -hmm. divided by in brackets we have um 200 cos 45 cos 30 plus 200 sine 45 sine 30. okay so i'll write this in millimeters so this gives us a 401 point five five millimeters i've converted it in advance uh let me check it again 120 minus 0 0.3 by 200 cos 45 divided by uh, 200 cos 45 cos 30 plus 200 sine 45 sine 30. all right so 401.55 millimeters. All right.
So let's go to the last case, but not the least, 4-29. What have we been given here? Here we've also been given the summation of moments about point A as equal to minus is clockwise 120 Newton meters. We've also been given D is equal to 0 0.3 meters. They've given us in millimeters, but I've converted to meters. And then they're asking us to find F, F in Newtons. So the same equation, you just plug in. So we have 120 equal to uh, minus clockwise moment, uh, 0 0.3 plus D is given 0 0.3 cos 30 uh, times F is not given. That's what we are looking for, cos 45 minus uh, D is given as 0.3 sine 30 and then we have F not given as uh, F sine 45. Making F subject to the formula, grab your calculators, cancel out the minuses, we have 120 uh, divided by so let me first add up that 0 0.3, 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 cos 30 times cos 45 plus 0 0.3 sine 30 times sine 45 and 120 divided by that. So we have a 239.09 newtons so 120.3 plus 0.3 uh, cos 30 times cos 45 plus 0.3 uh, sine 30 sine 45 and then 120 divided by that 239 all right so here we are we found the summation of moments about point a for case number one or case 4-27 and then in the second case we are given moment and the force being asked to find d and the d is equal to in millimeters 401.55 the last case we are given moment and distance the lever arm been asked to find the force and the force we found it is 239.09 all right this is about it this is about it and i hope the video is helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel bye bye and see you in my next uh, screencast